This Hollywood mastermind is able to juggle several different tasks while also weaving captivating plot lines into his film and television projects. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the career of director, producer, screenwriter, and composer J.J. Abrams. I always wanted to make movies, and so directing a movie is like my life dream. For me, the always the thing about movies, and again, it applies to TV as well. I love characters that I relate to, that I feel for, and I believe in going through an insane and extraordinary situation. Jeffrey Jacob Abrams was born on June 27, 1966, in New York City. Since both his parents were television producers who raised him in LA, he became interested in the film industry by the time he was only eight years old. To nurture this newfound hobby, young Abrams was taken to Universal Studios and was given his very own Super 8mm film camera. He eventually entered a number of his amateur films in various contests. Abrams worked on these projects with his childhood friend Greg Grunberg, and in later years, Abram cast his friend in his work. Abrams became increasingly intrigued with the use of special effects, and so he began writing to experts who worked on various Hollywood films. One notable example was the man responsible for the tongue effect in The Exorcist. To confront this cruel demon. Abrams was intensely passionate and versatile, and his first industry job came when he was just 16 years old. He wrote the musical score for the low-budget horror film Night Beast. Wicker never even called the state. They don't even know we have a bad situation here. <laughs> While he was still a student at Sarah Lawrence College, he co-wrote and sold his first film treatment. This became the basis for the 1990 picture Taking Care of Business. The movie starred Jim Belushi, and Abrams himself undertook producing duties. He followed that up by writing the screenplays and producing both 1991's Regarding Henry, starring Harrison Ford, and 1992's Forever Young, starring Mel Gibson. Abrams then collaborated with Jerry Bruckheimer and Michael Bay by penning 1998's summer blockbuster Armageddon. It was at this time he made his first foray into television when he wrote, co-created, executive produced, and composed the musical score for the coming-of-age drama Felicity. You and I shared a moment the other night, and now you're freaked out so you're blowing me off. What are you talking about? He then formed his own production company called Bad Robot, and went on to craft the incredibly popular spy series, Alias. A few years later, he managed to outdo himself with the hit TV show, Lost. This series merged the concepts of the reality show Survivor with those in the film Castaway. Due to its overwhelming success, this thrilling character drama brought him widespread Hollywood recognition and several awards, including an Emmy for Outstanding Directing. Terrific. Because of his successes, Abrams was called upon to make his directorial film debut with 2006's Mission Impossible 3. The film starred Tom Cruise, and in fact it was Cruise who led to Abrams' appointment as director. Cruise decided he must work with him after discovering and binge-watching multiple seasons of Alias. Now firmly planted in the big chair, Abrams produced the gritty documentary-style monster movie Cloverfield. co-created the paranormal investigation series Fringe, and directed 2009's stunning and overwhelmingly successful franchise reboot of Star Trek. The hull! Magnify! Yes, sir. In 2011, Abrams once again explored his childhood passion and fascination with amateur filmmaking. This time, he did so with his sci-fi film project, Super 8. The story centered on a group of friends that witnesses a catastrophic train accident and inexplicable events while making a Super 8 movie. Abrams was set to follow up those efforts with the sequels to Mission Impossible and Star Trek, while also helping to forge ahead with the long-awaited film finale of Samurai Jack. With major successes in both film and television, he has been hailed by Paramount Pictures as the next Steven Spielberg. And there is no denying that J.J. Abrams has become one of the most highly demanded creative forces in Hollywood.